I am Groot. Hey guys, me host Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I've got. It's the Marvel Legends Evolution of Groot. Uh, this hasn't long been out now. Um, so we've got Groot. Uh, it also comes with uh, sort of like Baby Groot and the Pop the potted Groot as well, but the main attraction is of course that big Groot figure. Groot was released as a part of Wave 1, but I believe he was the uh, builder fig for the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, I believe. Um, I didn't collect those ones, I've, uh, I have started collect uh, collecting the uh, Volume 2 uh, waves, but I saw this one and I was like, right, I can get me a full size Groot, because I'm pretty sure in the next film he's going to be a bit bigger. <laughs> I think they're going to forward time and have him uh, as full size Groot again, hopefully. If Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is out to go by. But this is the Marvel Legends series. On the back, it states From potted prodigy to towering tree like humanoid, Groot uses powers of regeneration to become a legendary defender of intergalactic justice. He is amazing. So let's crack into him and let's take a look. Groot, stop picking on Drax. Okay, let's get the scissors in here. They are in here somewhere. There they are. Okay. Dee 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 dee. That is good. Boop. Here we go. Now, as you know, guys, I do display mine out of the packaging. Uh, so the box is more or less useless to me, but I will use it uh, for the action figure photography that I'll probably do. So if you guys aren't already following Instagram, now is a great time to get following. Okay. Potted Groot <clears throat> and the main one. Okay. Okay, so when you get your Groot, <clears throat> this is what he looks like. He's not got any legs. His legs are in the packaging though, so we can't make him tall. This is going to be a tall Groot. Them pegs have got to go in further than that. Come on. There we go. I think in them that's not far enough, is it? <laughs> so the legs are quite stiff. Um, so if you have, if this is a present for a kid or anything like that, ooh, you are going to want to give them some assistance putting that together. Okay, and there is Groot. He is massive. He's really tall, which he should be, to be fair. He should be taller um, than all the other legends because he is bigger. I'm going to get, I'll get my uh, Star Lord out and actually we'll do a comparison. But he is awesome. A little bit on the flimsy side, in my opinion. These elbow joints and things feel a little bit iffy. <laughs> but he is very well articulated, just like the rest of the Legends series. So we have the head that is on a ball joint, so you can rotate that side to side, as well as up and down. The arms do lift up and rotate, and there is a separate bicep brake there as well to rotate as well. We are on a double hinged elbow here, so you can um, bend his arm quite far. His hands as well are on a rotatory cuff, uh, so you can rotate the hands as well as lift them up and down. 
He's also got a diaphragm hinge here, so you can sort of rotate him from left to right at the top chest, as well as backwards and crunching backwards and crunching forwards. Uh, legs, we do have the legs do lift outwards. They don't have a hip hinge though. Um, oh, they do? Do they? Yes, they do. Sorry, mine's just very stiff. So you can lift his legs up. And they do lift out as well with a double knee hinge. Yes, yeah, so these are on pegs, so they sort of click around in place. And the feet as well are on a, a hinge joint there as well. And there is a separate break at the knee to twizzle as well. So quite a well-articulated figure in my honest opinion. Sorry, I realise I haven't looked at the camera much in this entire video. Um, it very well, very well thought out grew. I'm loving that face sculpt. There he is. That face sculpt is beautifully grafted. Okay, so let's just stand him up here. Let's stand him up big and tall, and then I'll get um, for the when I take it to the desk cam, guys. I'll get um, some of our other legends out. We'll get Starlord out and we'll do a size comparison. Because he's very tall. I'm not liking these legs. The feet are a bit weird. He does sort of stand at a weird angle. But that could just be the way I am uh, posing him. As well, don't forget you do get the two other mini groups. So you do get the little group that was in the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Where it's all itty bitty. Itty bitty group. That would probably be the right size in comparison to um, like a 3.75 inch Rocket Raccoon. I feel that is a bit small for the Legend series version. Um, hopefully I can get the Wave 2 Baby Groot and we can do a side by side comparison of that. I'm not sure if it's the same figure. And then of course we've got the Potted Groot which is again a little bit on the smaller side. But it is meant to be the Twigged version. Uh, this version here that I've got, this came with the animated series uh, six inch Groot so I oh know the six inch Rocket I think that's it again came with Rocket didn't it so it is, this is, does feel a little bit on the small side but again those are just kind of like accessories that came with the main attraction which is the big Groot um, so let's take it to the desk cam okay and here is Groot let's just take another, another good look at that face sculpt it is so nice and animated it looks like Gru's genuinely happy, and so he should be because he stood at the side here of Drax and Star-Lord. And let's just zoom out a little bit here. You can see the height difference is perfect. That is how it should be. I'm glad they're in scale, and um, I'm so glad I picked up this Groot. It is awesome, and he's, he's kind of taller than his uh, display stand piece. You know, the, the, the box inlay, kind of a little bit taller than it. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing some action figure photography, guys. Like I said, please make sure you follow me on Instagram to grab some of that. But Groot is awesome. I'm really happy with him. This is a Toys R Us exclusive, guys. Uh, they are now readily available in the UK at your local Toys R Us. I did click and collect. Um, and two of my local stores had them in. I think most stores have had at least one or two of these bad boys delivered. So make sure you go and grab yours. Toys R Us exclusives you can never go wrong with. And uh, it will be hard to get, I think, in time. I haven't seen many of these actually uh, reviewed online. So, kind of glad I got mine. It goes so well with my other Guardians figures. Yeah. Guys, what are your thoughts on Groot? I'd love to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below. There we go. The detailing on that is just amazing. The little twiglets coming off him and all the little interweaving things, it just looks so good. So happy with it. All right, you two, break it up. But guys, I'd love to know your thoughts. So please let me know in the comments down below. Please smash that subscribe button. It would really support the show, really help me out and help me keep making awesome videos like this. I hope you enjoyed this video and from me and Groot, I want to say bye-bye and I'll see you again soon. Have an awesome day, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye!